In this video, we will be studying about the credit creation on the credit multiplier. This is again a very important question that is asked in your CBSC board exam that how the commercial banks create the credit multiplier or do the credit creation. See, if you're a bank, right, you have in a day a deposit of let's say rupees one. Okay. If you have a deposit of rupees 1 lakh with you, so will there be a withdrawal that people will withdraw in cash rupees 1 lakh? No. In a day, a withdrawal might be of rupees 20,000 if 1 lakh is deposited, rupees 30,000 or 40,000. So bank assumes this on the experience that this is the SLR that is the statutory liquidity ratio what is the amount of cash that should be reserved by the bank with themselves from the deposits. So on the basis of experience they make the cash reserves with them they keep the cash reserves with bank right so see if one lakh is deposited with the bank and on the previous experience or from the past experience the banks thinks that only twenty thousand in a day will be withdrawn by people so bank is left with rupees eighty thousand so what bank do bank can give the credit of rupees 80,000 to a to public right now how bank gives credit to the public if you offer for loan the amount of rupees 80,000 is not given directly in the cash If you take loan from the bank, the bank will deposit this 80,000 in your account. Again, as a demand deposit. So again, there is a deposit of, once there was deposit of 1 lakh, now again there is a deposit of rupees 80,000 with bank as a demand deposit, as a loan it has given loan to you but in the account of bank it has become a demand deposit that is rupees 80,000 is deposited in your account by the bank. Now again 80,000 is deposited. Let's on the experience of bank they say that 20% is their statutory liquidity ratio that is the cash ratio they have to maintain. So the bank will keep 16,000 as cash so the bank is left with 64,000 with themselves again the bank can create credit of rupees 64,000 to public right again the 64,000 won't be given as cash it will be deposited as a demand deposit in the account Again, there is a deposit of 64,000 with the bank on your name. So again, there will be a cash reserve and then again the amount will be left and it will again be offered to the public for loan. In this way, from this 1 lakh rupee, the bank is creating a credit multiplier. They give 80,000 from 1 lakh and then 64,000. So this from 1 lakh they have multiplied the amount and they are giving the loans to the public. They are creating a credit on it. So this is what how your credit multiplier is. So commercial banks know by way of their historical experience that all the depositors will not shoot up in the bank to withdraw all the deposits at a time. So they keep a certain amount of 
cash as the reserve with them that is the statutory liquidity ratio if experience shows that the withdrawal are generally amount to 10 percent per deposit the bank need to keep only 10 percent as cash reserves so number one we have is if your crr sorry your slr not crr your slr that is the cash reserve you have to keep with yourself let's say is the 10 percent on your past experience you think and there is a demand deposit of rupees 10,000 so rupees 1,000 you have to keep as a cash reserve for the people who will come and withdraw the money in the cash right so your demand deposit is equal to 1 divided by SLR into your cash reserve your SLR is 10 percent your cash reserve is 1000 person sorry 1000 your 1000 into 100 that is your percent so you have the demand deposit of rupees 10,000 right so it is very important to note that if you go for a loan the bank does not give you in cash so there is another they give you as a demand deposit in your account right so again there is a demand deposit that is credit uh, the bank had if you think that if you go for a loan when loans are offered worth rupees 10,000 demand deposit of the banks are raised by 10,000 again if the loans are offered for 8,000 the bank demand deposits are again raised by rupees 8,000 because the 8,000 is not given as cash by the bank it is deposited in the account of the person so in this way the bank creates credit or the credit multiplier so your credit multiplier is your demand deposit We took demand deposit at 10,000 and your cash reserves. You used to keep 10% of the demand deposits in cash. That is 1,000. So you can, the bank can create the credit up to the 10 times from it. So your credit multiplier. is equal to your 1 by SLR means 1 by 10 percent which is equal to 10 times the bank can create credit from rupees 10,000 right so we can see the help of example as well Now we can see the bank's balance sheet. See what the loans bank give is the asset for the company, a bank because bank will get the amount back. So it is the outstanding asset for the bank. So these are the liabilities. These are the assets. Let's say your demand deposit, a person comes and deposit rupees is rupees 10,000. In this case, your SLR is 10% means you have to keep cash of 10%. So what you do, you keep the cash with you of 1,000 as a reserve but and out of it from 10,000, 1,000 is kept at reserve, you are left with 
9000 so again you will give this loan and if you have to give this loan it will come as loan because it is an asset for the bank 9000 and the loan is you will give not in the cash so again you will deposit it in the account of a holder so again it will be a demand deposit that is your secondary deposits of rupees 9000 from again this 9000 the bank has a deposit now again the bank will keep a cash of rupees 900 that is 10% and will give a loan of 8100 again this loan will be again a secondary deposit for the bank that is 8100 so from the secondary deposit again a bank will keep a cash of 8810 with them as 10% is the cash reserve ratio so the loan that amount left with the bank is from 9000 from 8100 if banks keep 8010 so amount of left is 7290 so again a loan will be given for 7290 again it will be a secondary deposit of 7290 with bank so in this way bank will keep on multiplying the credit and keep on giving the credit from this 10000 rupees so this is how the bank creates the credit i hope you have understood this completely please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us